friends, and welcome to Star Wars for 100 Days, the ultimate fan countdown leading up to the release of Star Wars The Force Awakens. Every single day, we're getting closer and closer to the release of the seventh chapter in the greatest sci-fi saga of all time. Before we wrap up Jabba's Palace, I wanted to go ahead and do a quick impressions review of the brand new video game, Star Wars Battlefront, the big multiplayer action game for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. For the last week, I've had an opportunity to play the PlayStation 4 version of the game, and I just want to give you my thoughts about it and if it's worth picking up. First and foremost, this game just completely reeks of Star Wars. The music, the design, the graphics in particular are pretty freaking incredible. Now, the Battlefront series is known for being these big epic battles with like 40 people in a map at once. It's insane. When you combine that with Star Wars, it's honestly a match made in heaven. And the multiplayer aspects of Star Wars Battlefront are definitely the strongest element. It's what most people are going to be buying the game for. So first, let's just talk about the multiplayer. The multiplayer is really cool because you have a number of different options. Everything from death matches to uh, capture the flag to protecting certain points to having space battles to even having a heroes versus villain mode where you get to play some of the key characters from the Star Wars universe like Luke Skywalker, Han Han Solo, Leia, Darth Vader, the Emperor, and Boba Fett. Boba Fett is a personal favorite as he has his jetpack, his flamethrower, and even his freaking rocket. So they really do a great job of representing all of the big characters from the Star Wars universe. But most of the time, you're either going to be playing as the Rebels or as the Imperials, the Empire. And I do prefer playing as the Empire because I think it's just a little cooler to play as a Stormtrooper, especially when you play in third-person mode. And that's something that I really appreciate, that there's a first-person and a third-person mode. I prefer playing in third-person because I like to be able to see my soldier, and they just look really cool. When you play as Boba Fett, you want to be able to see him in all of his badassery. But the good news is both modes work really well in terms of their control, pretty much what you would, ex what you would expect from a AAA first-person shooter title. All of those mechanics work really well. When you're playing in the third-person, first-person matches, basically it boils down to choosing your character, who you can customize oh so slightly, and you'll also have some weapons which you can move around, such as jetpacks and thermal detonators and grenades of the like. You'll be able to upgrade your character and do all that stuff that you could pretty much do in just about any other AAA first-person shooter game that you would see today. I think the multiplayer is pretty damn awesome. It's really fun. There aren't that many maps, however, and they only span a couple of planets from the Star Wars universe. The only planets which are featured in this game are Tatooine, Sullust, Hoth, and Endor. The good news is every single planet looks absolutely gorgeous and really captures the feel of Star Wars. In particular, Endor. Not only is it a beautifully rendered looking forest, but just the feel of it, the fact that you can get on speeder bikes and finally have those sequences where you can literally go around the forest just barely dodging trees, really does feel exhilarating. So the multiplayer version of Star Wars Battlefront is pretty awesome. But what about the single player? This is where things sort of fall apart a little bit, and it's going to be kind of like a, a big factor for a lot of folks. So there really isn't that much of a single player presence in this game. There's no campaign, and there's pretty much just a couple of missions that you can tackle yourself or with a friend. That's pretty much it. I find this incredibly disappointing, as this would have been a fantastic opportunity to actually make a big full-fledged like campaign that would be really exciting and over the top. We are in the Star Wars universe, so they could really do some really crazy things. And uh, they just didn't really go that route. They just really wanted to focus on the multiplayer. That being said, there are going to be a number of DLC things coming up. There's going to be the Battle of Jakku, which is coming up in early December, which is going to recreate this battle on this planet that's going to be seen in Star Wars The Force Awakens. There's also a season pass, so if you want to get more of the DLC that's going to be released in the future, that's definitely something to look into. But I will say, though, that just the lack of single player does kind of kill the game for me a little bit. Uh, I don't know how much its longevity can go just through its multiplayer, but we happen to be living in that age where that's one of the more popular way to play games on consoles nowadays. So in many ways, I can't blame them, but I have to admit I am disappointed. My other big disappointment comes from the fact that all of the assets from this game are taken just from the original trilogy of Star Wars. Now, most hardcore Star Wars fans are going to be completely okay with this, and I understand the original trilogy is superior to the prequels in just about every way. However, I would really like the opportunity to play as clones or some of the other characters from the Star Wars universe. Maybe some of the other villains like Darth Maul or General Grievous. 
The fact is, this is all stuff from the original trilogy, and this is just the beginning of all the brand new Star Wars games which are going to be released. I'm sure we're going to get a ton in the future, not only because of this movie, but because of all the other movies which are going to be coming out in the future. So, should you buy Star Wars Battlefront? If you're a really hardcore Star Wars fan, maybe. That's the thing. It depends on how much you play the actual multiplayer. Me, personally, I would say wait a little bit before that price goes down, and it might just be a little bit better. As it is, I think they're charging a little too much for the game, especially considering there isn't really any single-player content. The good news is, everything that is there works really good, the online is crystal clear, it's smooth, it runs at like a full 60 frames per second, it's just a beautiful looking game, and Star Wars fans are definitely going to love it. Just remember, if you are going to buy this game, it pretty much focuses exclusively on the multiplayer aspects. That being said, it's a pretty awesome Star Wars game. Easily the best looking one that's ever been made, and it really gives me high hopes for what they're going to do in the future. But have you guys had a chance to play the brand new game Star Wars Battlefront? If you have, please tell me your thoughts about it in the comments section below. Do you have a favorite part of the game that you love playing? A favorite multiplayer mode? Do you like being on the ground? Do you like being in the ships? Being in the ships is my personal favorite part. And do you have a favorite hero or villain you like to play as? Make sure to tell me in the comments section below, and make sure to also tell me what you guys want to see from Star Wars The Force Awakens. Thank you guys for watching this video, make sure to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys again for watching, and as always, may the Force be with you.